Well, I am almost afraid to be happy for Christian Pulisic. Of course, he did finally score, not just his first Premier League goal, but a hat-trick, of course, only a second player that has done that. Klim Dempsey was the first one. We all know, of course, about Christian Pulisic. We know the narrative. We know how much pressure he's been under, not just for U.S. men's national team, but for all of us in America who think that he should be the next Messi. Of course, he will not be that. He's still a young player that's learning his trade, not just in general, but certainly in the new league, in the Premier League. And of course, Frank Lampard has told us all about that. And his men management when it comes to Christian Pulisic has been absolutely tremendous. He's been watching him. He's been asked questions about not starting Christian Pulisic, knowing that players in front of him, quite frankly, has played better. Players that he knows, like Mason Mount, Hudson Odoi, coming back from injury has been tremendous. So it's not easy to come to a lineup when everybody performs well. That's just the way football goes, right? But we are so impatient. Yes, Frank Lampard. Yes, Chelsea. Let's not forget when he first came to Chelsea. Well, actually, even before he came, Maurizio Zari didn't even know who he was. Frank Lampard coming over, maybe had his favorites. He knew Mason Mount, of course. He knows other players. But I'll tell you what, this is what Frank Lampard did. He's appreciated the way Christian Pulisic played as a substitute. Because every time he stepped on the pitch, he contributed. You know what? That's what you got to do. When you're not starting and you come in, you're supposed to make a difference. And you've got to keep yourself in the head of the manager. I remember those days. I wish I knew as a player as much as I know now. I would have been much better. But it's not about me. It is about Christian Pulisic. Tremendous game, of course. Two goals, very similar in a way that he does things best, right? Ball at his feet, driving decisively through the middle, right? Picking up on a couple of mistakes and scoring. Left foot, right foot, and then guess what? Against Burnley, away, a difficult physical team, certainly in the air. He scores a great header, of course. Let's give Mason Mount credit for that beautiful cross. So for Christian Pulisic, just for the day, let's be happy for him because you know what? The name of the game is consistency. This is just one game. He's going to have to play like this or as well as this very, very often in order to keep himself in the lineup. Look at this. Oliver Giroud, the World Cup champion, just scored a couple of goals recently on the international duty. Doesn't even get a sniff for the most part, right? Pedro, who's been good, doesn't play all the time. Fabinho took him a while, of course, to play for Liverpool. Eden Hazard switching to Real Madrid from, the, uh, from Chelsea, of course, hasn't been playing as well. That happens to player. He's young. Let's hope, of course, that this continues. It's only a day. Yes, we're happy here. And by the way, it's okay to be happy if you're in this country, in the United States, because Christian Pulisic, of course, had a great day. And why not be happy for a player like him? If you look at his numbers, that's just the first, let's hope, of many. Three goals, as we mentioned. First one today, great start. I love when Frank Lampard talked about him as a player, right? He said, of course, that yes, he's young. The price tag is there. He understands that, of course. I love the fact when he gave him a hug after the Newcastle game as well. Because you know, for a player, sometimes a hug from a manager is much more important than any word spoken. So today, to recognize Christian's Pulisic, good form as of late, him starting Pulisic was a good moment for a coach. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.